What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you can hear me well. Hopefully it's not too windy. If you already know who I am, my name is Michal. I help people in general, but particularly entrepreneurs, become the best version of themselves by removing their own self-sabotage through mindset and performance so they could achieve their desired results. And in this video, quick little one, basically, I want to talk about probably a habit that everybody does. And if you do this habit, you should break it immediately because when I did, it had a massive immediate impact. And it's kind of a funny one, and you might not think it's that big of a deal, but this one especially, especially, especially is very important when it comes to your actual work week, right? On the weekends, a little bit different, but during your actual work week, your work days, your work blocks, right? If your day is broken up into work blocks, like nine to 12, one to four, you know, the best way to get a, twice as more work done in half the time is through blocks of super, super, super deep focus, right? Undistracted focus. So what is this habit that could, you know, break this focus up so that we don't get the most out of our work blocks? And that is taking your phone to the bathroom. I know, but hear me out. Taking your phone to the bathroom is probably one of the most sabotaging habits. Let me explain. When you are focused, right? You're doing work, right? You're kind of in this flow state. First of all, your phone should be just away, off, silent, in a safe, in a different room. It should be, you know, muted, airplane mode, no notifications, no social media. It should be away because your, your phone is like a double-edged sword. It's such an amazing tool, but it's also so self-sabotaging because it causes so much procrastination, limiting beliefs, comparison, uh, just self-doubt when you go on social media and just, you know, it just really takes your mental bandwidth and it just diversifies it in multiple ways so you can't fully focus on the task at hand and be fully efficient with your performance, right? But when you go to the bathroom, this is what happens, right? Most of the time you go to the bathroom, you go on your phone, you go on social media, probably check stuff like that. And before you know it, you should be in the bathroom for like, you know, I don't know, two minutes, three minutes, depending on number, if you're doing number one or two, right? But then if you're on your phone, you'll start scrolling over social media, right? You go on Instagram or you'll quickly check your email, you'll quickly check Snapchat, whatever. And all of a sudden those two, three minutes could become 10 minutes and you don't even realize that, right? But what happens? You might think it's not a big deal, but then when you go back to your work, your subconscious and like the back of your mind has already been split and it's, been, it's thinking about other things, right? Subconsciously, you might not feel it immediately, but in the back of your mind, these thoughts are thinking, right? These thoughts are thinking like, did you ever experience when you're like reading something, you're like watching a video, right? You're watching a video or you're like reading something and you're listening to it, but then you start thinking about something else and it's like, where did those last 20 seconds kind of go? Like I kind of have to rewind it because I don't know, like that didn't really sit. And that's kind of what happens then. When you start doing your work, your focus is kind of, di your focus is diversified, right? So you're not fully like consciously aware, right? You're not fully consciously like present, right? Now you might not think it's a, such a big deal, but trust me, compounded over time, it will leave leaky holes in your performance, right? Another thing why it causes self-sabotage is because it creates a habit. So then, each time you feel like you have to go to the bathroom, right? Each time you feel like you have to go to the bathroom or you have this thought of going to the bathroom, right? Your subconscious, that habit, that trigger of, you know, you, you, know, you, 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 you could hold it in, right? You don't have to go to the bathroom because you're doing something, you're focused, but each time you feel that little trigger of, oh, I have to go to the bathroom, what happens then? Well, you go to the bathroom, why? Not because you have to go to the bathroom, it's because your dopamine sensors and like the, the part of your brain that wants dopamine or is getting cued, uh, triggered by that cue, right? To go to the bathroom, it's not really to go to the bathroom, it's really to go on your phone, right? Because you want to kind of pull away from something, maybe maybe your work isn't going that good, maybe you know you, you feel a little bit like lack of clarity, maybe you have a little bit of self-doubt, some limiting beliefs, they subconsciously creep in, and then that causes you just to go to the bathroom, just to go on your phone, right? So then it just creates a bad loop for yourself. It just really creates a bad self-sabotaging pattern. And I can tell you, this is probably one of the quickest habits that you could break. Just start doing it. Don't take your phone to the bathroom. Leave it in your room, right? Don't take your phone to the bathroom. You go on your phone and you check it when you're eating lunch, when you're done with the work block, when you have like a 30 minute break, et cetera. That's when you do it. You don't need your phone for, for other stuff. And I guarantee you, if you go onto your phone and check your screen time, your screen time is way, way, way too high than what it's supposed to be, right? I, I really try to keep my screen time below an hour. 
of actually doing stuff, right? R like recording videos, posting to YouTube, stuff like that. It takes up screen time, but actual like social media or just doing stuff under an hour, right? 45 minutes to an hour. And now that's hard, but the only way you get better at it is to solidify a positive habit in regards to it. Okay. So number one habit that you, everybody should break because I know most people and everybody does it and it's a super simple one, super quick one, and you will feel the effects of it immediately because the best way to have super clear focus and the best way to get twice as more work done in half the time is to have, well, one, solidified work blocks, but in those work blocks, be fully efficient, focused, present, and conscious of them and not letting your mental bandwidth get split because of these bad habits or because of this want to go on your phone because of, you know, you just kind of going to the bathroom, stuff like that. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you guys found value in it. Once again, if you're seeing this on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, put on post notifications for future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. I'm telling you, start doing it and you will feel the effects immediately.